Hello Church, I'm back again with another Timeless Truth. Um, the LA Times, uh, a number of years ago, ran a report about a couple that was found uh, dead. And they had died of malnutrition. And what's interesting about that story is that they found in paper bags over $40,000 in their home. That reminds me a lot of um, Christians. A lot of times we feel like we have nothing going for us. We feel kind of emotionally uh, and spiritually bankrupt or kind of emotionally and spiritually lethargic. Uh, we feel barren. When God said he, he was so spiritually barren he couldn't even spit dust. Sometimes you, you feel like that, even as a believer. And I think it's when you have those days, uh, it's important to remember just what you have going for yourself. That you really are rich, even though you may not feel like it. Think about these things. Uh, Paul, when he wrote the believers at Corinth, and that's a wild bunch. They had, they had a lot of issues and a lot of baggage. And yet, when he wrote them, he said, uh, you know, consider this, for you know of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, that you through his poverty might become rich. He told them that they had been also enriched in every way in, in uh, chapter uh, 1 of Second Corinthians. In Second uh, Corinthians also he said, uh, the Almighty God now considers you his own son or daughter. That's, that's a great privilege. And even the Apostle Peter said, uh, knowing that you were not redeemed with perishable things like silver or gold from your future way of life inherited from your forefathers, but with uh, the precious blood as of a lamb unblemished and spotless, the blood of Christ. In Luke, Jesus said, you have a father who uh, takes an unthinkable interest in your life. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, we are encouraged to know that God's interest and care for our lives is something that ha He has promised to never withdraw. These are great promises. And so I want to encourage you that when you come to that place where you struggle with feeling like you have nothing going for you, to remember who has you and who you have. Let me pray with you, and I especially want to pray with for those who are struggling emotionally and spiritually and, and um, you just feel like um, you're, you're just discouraged, perhaps uh, suffering from a degree, degree of depression. Uh, let me pray for you especially. Father, we pray for those who are today who are, you know, feel like they're just uh, uh, washed out spiritually and emotionally, and they're struggling with discouragement, perhaps uh, feeling very isolated during this time. I pray, the Lord, that you might comfort them and strengthen them, lift them up, Lord, help them to remember just how rich they are. And I pray for those who are suffering physically. There are many of our people who are, are suffering a, a great pain. Physically, and so I pray that you would uh, allay their their pain and alleviate that that pain in their their bodies, touch their bodies, and strengthen their bodies, Lord. And again, um, we we thank you that in this time, during this pandemic, that we find great comfort in you, and thank you that you call us your child, your children. We pray this in your Son's name, Amen.